Today, I'm gonna show you my experience taking my natural wavy, curly, very fine, gets frizzy hair from its natural state to these nice, smooth, tousled beach waves using only the Dyson Corral. If your beauty routine is your favorite ritual, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I am here three times a week sharing my beauty habit with you. Let's dive in. Of course, we're gonna start with some heat protectant spray. This is the Bumble and Mumble Heat Shield Thermal Protection Mist. I'm just gonna spray it throughout my hair and then brush through it to make sure it evenly distributes and protects all of my hair. The only thing that I don't love about having natural waves curls is that once you brush it out, you're done for. <laughs> I watched a couple different videos of people doing this, but they all had straight hair. So I'm curious to see if this is gonna work on wavy hair. Dyson did have, in their photos on Sephora, they have a before and after of someone that has naturally curly hair, and then it goes to like, actually like done waves. So I'm assuming that means it can be done. I'm praying that means it can be done. And today we're gonna find out. To start, I'm gonna try to do this as one thing, like waving it without like straightening it and then waving it, cause that's just so much heat to put on. So so I'm gonna see if it's possible that this might work. I'm taking a small section, of course. Let's try to do one like pass to straighten and then do the wave and see if that helps make it a little smoother. So one swipe, I'm gonna just hit my end up right there. I'm gonna try to do it upside down, kind of the way that I do my ear wrap ones. Ergonomically, that does not feel right. Yeah, I didn't like the way that felt. Almost everyone I saw did the waves using the Dyson upside down, which I tend to do when I use the air wrap because it gets me closer to the root. But for this, it does not feel very ergonomically correct. I think that's the best version I've gotten yet is this one. So we definitely need to go in with pretty small sections and I think it's best to do one pass to smooth and flatten out first before we go in to do the wave pass. Okay, now we've got it. That's fantastic waves. We're getting there. I feel like I've got the hang of it now. So doing the one pass and then slowly just twisting once and pulling through gives us a really nice kind of wave. And if you want it a little more PC on the ends, like you want the ends to be a little more straight, sometimes I'll just do this to just straighten out the end a little bit. For the longest time, that's actually how I would do all of my waves. I would do like a curling iron and then just straighten the ends. This was years ago. That used to be my like go-to method. Now, this straightener does hold hair together really well, so you have to keep the pieces the size you want the waves. Otherwise, what I've noticed is it's gonna be too much. It's not gonna separate out when you let it go. So make sure you're using the exact size of section that you want the wave to be. And I'm taking it, twisting it, one rotation away from the face, and that's how I'm getting the wave. This is about the size, just for reference. I mean, you can see like how frizzed out my hair gets after I brush out my natural curl. So I just can't imagine we could get this on one pass. But let's give it another try since now we know exactly how we like to do it. Let's see. It's just not, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not giving me the wave that I want. I feel like I could do like a nice classic kind of curl at the end. With this method, going straight from naturally curly to that kind of like classic where you just have like a little bit of a curl at the bottom of the hair. But for a wave where we want that end to be straight, it definitely needs that just first pass to straighten everything out before we go in and create the wave on the second pass. This one turned out a little bit funky, mainly because we definitely, we curled it first. So I'm just gonna straighten that end out. And now I feel like I can work with this to go on to the next section. That's 
like exactly what I'm looking for. A little bit curlier on the end than I wanted it, but this is my first time even trying this or using this, so that's pretty good. I remember the first few times that I did Beach Waves with the Dyson Airwrap, the results just were not very consistent, and at first I thought it was the Airwrap, but it's really not. It's just, it takes some time to get used to a new appliance, a new hair appliance, and I've especially found with Dyson that they do have a bit of a learning curve because their technology is very specific. It's meant to be used in a very specific way. And I mean, look at that wave. I mean, that's a perfect wave for me. So it is possible. It's just that learning curve of getting that muscle memory of how to work with the product. That's something I mentioned in my Dyson Airwrap review, which is an extremely detailed review. If you've ever considered the Dyson Airwrap and you're not sure, definitely check that video out. I will link it in the description box below. If you want to buy one of the Dyson hair appliances, you definitely need to be prepared to go through that learning curve. See, sometimes I'm getting it a little more curly versus a wave, but again, I think that that's going to subside once I get more used to this and I've done it a few times. What we have figured out today is that you can make the waves, apparently, with this. You just need to stick to small sections, and if your hair is like mine, you need to do that first pass before you go in to do your waving motion because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult for it to do both. I am kind of, as I go through doing a couple different sizes. I'm doing some sections a little bigger, some sections a little smaller. I really like to do that anytime I'm doing waves because I find that it makes them look a little more tousled. It makes them look a little more lived in and kind of gives us that beachy, relaxed feel that we're going for. So I like to kind of mix and match the sizes. did not wave at all. <laughs> Again, it's that just learning curve. I'm gonna go through and finish all the lower sections and I will meet you back to do the very top section with our face framing pieces. We are to the very top section. I do wanna say there have been a couple times where it just doesn't seem to like actually wave. So I've had to do a couple like double passes, but for the most part, I do think I'm getting the hang of it. These sections are obviously the most important because they're the ones that are gonna be, you know, the most visible. You'll be able to see the top of them and everything. So fingers crossed. Trying to get as close to a middle part as is possible for my heart-shaped face solely because I'm doing beach waves. Every other day, I'm all about the side part life. Oh my gosh, this thing is dying, you guys. To me, like the big draw of this is that it has a battery, so you don't have to have it plugged into the wall. So I'm gonna be really disappointed if the battery life is not good. So battery life from a full charge is 30 minutes. I'm honestly disappointed. I don't know why I didn't notice. I think because when I straightened my hair, it did not take me that long. So I didn't have that experience. So definitely if you are trying to go from fully curly, like naturally curly to beach waves, like smoothed out beach waves, you're probably gonna use that 30 minutes because I have a lot of hair. It's deceiving. It looks like it's not a lot since it's so baby fine, but I do have a lot of hair. And obviously since we're having 
having to smooth and then wave, it's taken about 30 minutes. I will say that I think for me, the time that I'm really gonna use this to beach wave is gonna be like third day hair. Like say I go natural on day one, day two I use the Dyson Corral to straighten, and then day three I would do these beach waves on the already straightened and smoothed hair. I think that is how this hairstyle is best going to work for me. You see, some of these just don't quite go. It definitely has that same learning curve. off this hairstyle I'm gonna use a little bit of the Oribe dry texturizing spray this is like my favorite texture spray I use this for this purpose every time I do beach waves I just kind of pull my hair out lift and spray up into the style just to tossle it a little bit hair done makeup done you guys I have a little bit of a ways to go with a learning curve on this but I do have to say I really appreciate the convenience of being able to go from my natural curly hair to smooth tousled beach waves with one appliance generally if I let my hair air dry and it's naturally curly if I want to then get smoothed out beach waves like this I have to wash my hair I have Never before this found a straightening iron that would let me get it smooth enough to where I could then go in and do a beach wave. So in the past, it's always been my hair is natural curly. I want it to be smooth beach waves. I have to go wash it and either style it that way with the Dyson air wrap or blow it out smooth and then curl it, which is again, two heat processes. So I really appreciate the flexibility that now with the Corral, I can definitely not have to worry like, oh, if I wanna wear my hair beach waved on Wednesday, should I really let it air dry today on Monday? That is gonna be a thing of the past now. I can definitely have more flexibility in how I schedule washing my hair, which for me is huge. Be sure to check out the video I did on the Dyson Corral straightening my natural curly hair. I also have a full playlist of me using Dyson hair appliances. You can check that one out too. I hope to see you over there. And until then, you take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.